Well, the red carpet uh, celebration continues for Samson here at Sight and Sound Theater in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm with June Hunt that uh, I was so surprised to see today. June, of course, uh, I remember putting reel-to-reel tapes on the radio back in the late 80s when Hope for the Heart Ministry began on radio. Wow. wow. And uh, and we here we are tonight celebrating Samson. Yes. Well, it's an exciting time because what we see here is the relevance of the Bible being presented in a fresh and creative way. And um, you see uh, uh, people who have sometimes failed in their lifestyle, and yet God doesn't give up on them, and they can still be used by God in a powerful way. Isn't that exciting that yes. God's grace is greater than all of our sin? Uh, he heals the brokenhearted. You know, in truth, Samson was a broken kind of man, uh, and, and yet he heals the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. There are all kinds of ways that we can see that God doesn't give up on us if we one day are really willing to yield to him. And so I'm thrilled that we are on the same team. I'm excited (laughs) too. And listen, uh, now your program airs on Bot Radio Network and we're excited to have you, of course, in the night. You're a late owl. Well, well, yes, it, it is hope in the night, and that's when people call about real problems. It's they're anonymous because we give them anonymous names, but uh, their their problems are not uh, made up in any way. And there are so many people who actually humble their hearts and pray to receive Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Once they hear actual answers for their problems, it's kind of like backdoor evangelism. It's like, oh, well, if there's Credible answers here. Maybe there is something about Jesus. Maybe He would work in my life. So we just—it's uh, it, like presenting a truth, and and if it's relative to what their needs are right now, it's like, oh, okay. If this is the way that God would have us to deal with that problem, and it makes sense, then many people then open up their lives and are willing for the first time to humble their hearts and pray to receive Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. But what, see, j- just as the way we do it on Hope in the Night, we're dealing with problems that people have. Well, that's what sight and sound is. They're dealing with problem situations, and then ultimately it's showing how the Bible is relevant to their lives. And it's relevant to all of our lives, even living in 2016 here. The Bible has principle and purpose for us right now. It's exciting. Hey, you, you. you took the backstage uh, tour of yes. Sight and Sound today. What did you think about all the behind the scenes things? Well, I think the thing, the number one thing that surprised me is going to be not, uh, ex- uh, uh, well, it's not going to be something we would normally think of. Uh, I did not know that you would ever train rats and skunks to literally train them to act. So they do that, and so then that shows you the detail to which this film crew, the uh, those who are the theater producers of Sight and Sound, the the way they have. Uh, made sure that there's authenticity in what they're doing and and my, my point is uh, there are extraordinary stories here a, a fabulous storyline uh, that uh, is going to be revealed but the point is it, it's like they take so seriously wanting uh, to present the Bible as certainly relevant for today and even up to the nth degree I think that's and and it was it's it, it's such a compliment and an, uh, a tribute to the Bible to, to have that focus on detail. And many, many people come who have no interest at all in Christianity. They have no interest in religion. And all of a sudden, for the first time, they see that the pages of the Bible are being displayed and people can go oh I had no idea oh you mean that's in the Bible and so it, it, they're they're connecting the dots and I think they're truly genuinely used by God because that is their purpose yes. well June Hunt it's so good to see you here in Lancaster at Sight and Sound Theater uh, last time we, we were together at the NRB so we're we're making rounds and seeing each other at different places well I love the bot network <laughs> I mean what you all do is great uh, throughout uh, the United States, the far-reaching impact is, is huge. Awesome. Thank you so much. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you.